Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Hey, welcome to Toy Break episode 83. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And Toy Break is your weekly internet show covering toys, action figures, plush, designer vinyl, and just about everything else or anything else that we can think of in the wonderful world of toys. You jumped into that way too quick. You blew right over my, and I'm dead joke that I was going to do. Wait, there was a joke? I'm dead. It's not funny anymore. Let's keep going. <laughs> What's up first? The Mono Smash Contest. That's right, everybody. It is time for a new contest, and it's awesome dual running contest because we already dual have running. one going dual running so this is brought to you by tenacious toys this is limit this mono smash as you might remember is limited to 150 pieces valued at 100 dollars and to possibly win it for never yourself, been opened until now <laughs> something fell inside oh look cards postcards so to possibly win it for yourself all you have to do is draw your own version of smash and then post it on the forum. It's that easy. Now, obviously, all skill levels are welcome. Doesn't matter if you're doing it in crayon, it could be chalk, whatever you got, just draw it. That's no what he looks asked. like. Or that's what he looks like. Or that's what he you looks like. You know how you could find out what he looks like? Or that's like? what he looks like. Go to tenaciousToys.com. You could. Click Type on the picture smash. of Smash. So, like I said, all skill levels are welcome. A winner will be chosen at random. It won't be like, hey, that was the best picture because it's awesome. It's going to look great. It's just anybody who enters thrown into the hat or the bucket or the whatever pulled out. Make it Done. cool, though. Like, make a cool your own. Do like, your take style. Smash and put them in your, yeah, put them in your style. And if you don't have a style, make a stick figure Smash. Or make a cool background for him or something. Whatever. So the deadline is July 29th. It's that easy. But don't just take Joe Ledbetter's art and put it up, because he already did that. We want your art. Your smash. Done. Also, the Alex Party signed box contest. So to win this back of the Walrus Rider box, signed by Alex Party to you with love from both of us, just send in a postcard to us at Toy Break. All of our contact information is at toybreak.com and put, uh, what, what do you want them to put? I want the wal walrus? Yeah, give me the walrus. Give me the walrus? Give me the walrus. I want the walrus. I don't care what you write. Something with walrus on it. The deadline for that is August 1st and send in any postcard. Doesn't matter. Make it funny. We Get like on it. We've already got one from what Hawaii. was that? New Jersey. We got one from Hawaii. Yeah. We accidentally said the wrong guy's name last time. It was, oh, we should probably correct that. Let's correct that. So the postcard last week was from Chaz. Not John. Not John. It was from Chaz. I'm an idiot. So we apologize, Chaz, and thank you very much for the postcard and taking the time to, to draw us and our likenesses on your entry. We appreciate it. The, the second postcard from Hawaii also decided to draw us, and that was pretty yes. cool, too. So it's Benoit, a, Apparently thank it's a you. theme on the... Uh... Thank you, Benoit. And he drew the little robot back there, too. Oh, look how angry he is. <laughs> So we would also like to thank our sponsors, like MiniCassettes.com, rocking one of their shirts right now. Dead Michael Jackson, very Timely. fitting. Actually, Too this soon. One's, this Too one's, soon. This one's undead. Too soon. <laughs> 3DRetro.com. PanicsToyBox.com. FuzzyBallsApparel.com. And of course, TenaciousToys.com. Sponsor of the prize. Yay for Tenacious Toys. We would also like to thank Brian for his donation. We appreciate it very much, and it helps keep the show going. So if you want to donate, toybreak.com. It's on the left-hand side of the page. And again, thank you, Brian. We appreciate it. And the Toy Break Sharpie will be on its way to you, as well as this yes. awesome dead Michael Jackson, just because that's what time it is. I feel bad that I ruined your joke at the beginning of the show. I, I wasn't aware of it. It's okay. It was just on the spur of the moment. I was on the fly. I thought I'm of it. Always ruining the spurs. There it went. <laughs> Let's get on to the news. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. News. First up, Boiler Zombie by 3A Toys. This is the first figure in the Adventure Cartel line from 3A. It's a 1/6 scale, 12-inch figure. It's fully articulated and comes with his best friend, Bothead, which is a severed robot head. There's a rare hair color variant and head chase versions, so watch for those. $87 over at bombalandstore.com. Uh, hopefully they're still available by the time this episode goes up. I like to say Bamba. It's Bamba! 
Bamba, fine, Bamba. Ba 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 la la bamba. Land Bamba store. land stores. I don't know. I have it's no really idea what it really is. Bamba land. Let's see if we can figure out what how you really say it. Pecan. Also, also, American <laughs> Greetings recently signed a number of new licenses for its properties, including a license for action figures based on Mad Balls, My Pet Monster, Pretty Freakin' Scary, and Sushi Pack, all granted to Shocker Toys. ShockerToys.com for more info. I know at first they will be applying them to their Mallows. Yes. Vinyl, articulated vinyl figure. Should be interesting, should be interesting. All I can think of, though, is there's something quite suspicious about all the little fishes that are sitting on the plate. <laughs> sushi <laughs> Pack's awesome. If you haven't seen the Sushi Pack song, it's, uh, it's addictive. Sushi! Sushi! I think it's stuck in your head. Uh, New Lost Toys by Biff Bang Pow, based on ABC's hit show Lost, of course, which is what I'm talking about. A new line of collectibles is set to include Bob. Wait, not Lost Toys like. Uh... Listener Dave from Canada's Lost Steve Austin. Steve Austin, rest in that's peace. A, that's a lost toy. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. <laughs> so the Lost set from Biff Bang Pow is set to include uh, bobbleheads and articulated action figures. First up will be Ben Linus bobblehead, limited to 1,008 pieces for $17 each, available at the Entertainment Earth booth at San Diego Comic-Con. See, the problem I have with this is I already bought my lost action figures when a little company called McFarlane did them. When they did them awesome. And I've seen what Biff if Bang they do Pow's. Better? All right. So far, Biff Bang Pow has put out some action figures. Good story. Out Good of story. the action figures, they've put out some Flash Gordon, which looked halfway decent. Mm-hmm. They were I, I'm not into Flash Gordon, so I can't really judge them. I am in to the Big Lebowski, and they put out you some are. action figures of those. They were urban achievers, so they kind of stylized them a little. First line, two guys, awesome. Next line, pictures are out. They look awful. Awful. The Jesus Completely weird. terrible, awful. It's true. Donnie, awful. Margaret Ga- Donnie. Gar, awful. It wasn't Gar, but <laughs> Sam Elliott, <laughs> oh, awful. Gar. <laughs> he was Gar in a different movie. I just love that that's what you... And then Dexter. I was really looking forward to it. Love Dexter. Biff Bang Pow makes the figure. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. I wonder why they're making more what? Lost action figures. And now they're going to take Lost, which McFarlane made really, really well, if you're into Lost, and they're going to probably make it awful. If, if that if... Linus, Benjamin Linus figure, that bobblehead, is any interpretation of how it's about to go... I shake my head no at you, Biff Bang Pow. You shake why your brain you, no. Why would you want to ruin all of the good licenses? Why do you want to take all of the cool things and make sucky product from them? Get better sculptors. You know what would be fun, though? Pay a sculptor to make your toy. That is worth it. You know what would be good is if they didn't do the main characters. They did, like, the alter- like the other characters or exactly the others. The first That'd four awesome. that are coming out are two two-packs. I Jack know. and Kate... Juliet and Sawyer, okay? All of those except for Juliet have already been out. I know, but I'm just saying it would be funny if they took it a step further and did, like, the others. Sure. Or... In their crappy sculpting. Um, Rose and... What's her husband's name? I'm calling them out. They need to hire sculptors. You do that. You call them out. Calling them out. Biff Bang Pow. Get some better sculptors. Whoever's doing their stuff now, it's awful. You need better sculptors, and there are better sculptors out there. Especially if you're paying the mold prices to make know, an you're... action figure. Make it... Good. You're paying thousands of dollars to, st- to tool steel, steel molds. Do it right. Forget it. More Mind Style. San Diego Comic Con exclusives. Cosmic Penny, an exclusive scavenger by Kathy Olivas, and a special color of the obese alien minifigure from the Propaganda Circus Sideshow series by Ron English. Both pieces are limited to 200 pieces and will be available from Toy Tokyo booth for $20. Good price. Good price. True. Twenty dollars, good good price point, I think, for just about anything. Comcon, ten dollars even better. But More duck sauce are available by Dynamite NYC and the Suck Lord. The first ten yellow pieces of this thirty-five piece edition are sold out, but you can still grab a pink or silver version for a mere thirty-five dollars over at shopunderstood.com. And there's 
more to that link, just click the show notes there you on go. Toy Break. It's easier. We'll have a review of the yellow one coming soon. Yes. But that takes us to... Blind box time. They can't hear they, it already says it. it. Does its own thing. No, you tell them what. Blind box time. <laughs> Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. Thank you. That one's not blind, but you don't know what it looks but like. But I was apparently not paying attention. So, if you were to pick one of these that I have in my hand, which is blind, which one would you want? Well, first, what are we opening? These are tear drips by Travis Lamp Lamp Lampe <laughs> Lampe. Is, is he fancy? Is he Lampe? Or is it's he just Travis Lamp? Lamp or Lampe. All I'm right. going to go with Lamp. I'm saying he's fancy. And I he's going, Travis Lamp. It's, I'm saying he's fancy and he's Travis Lampe. Does he pate? He might be from Canada and he's <laughs> Travis Lampe. Uh, these are by Squibbles Inc. and Roto Fuji. And they're teardrips. They are. Okay, so which one would I want? I would want... Um, ee, I like their little faces. I think this one down here, Cranston. Cranston? Okay. He's like... Cranky. I kind of want Bilby or Garth. Where is he? Bilby. Oh, Bilby. Or Garth. Or Puddington, because Puddington's, Cause Puddington's just a, good a good name. name. And you have the, so, what was that convention um, up in uh, San Francisco? That was WonderCon. the WonderCon. That was the WonderCon exclusive that came out at the same time as the marshmallow oh, figure. Is it this one on the front? I don't remember what it looks like because I'm stupid. I don't remember either, so it's kind of it like monotone. a blind box. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Is it bad that I don't remember? <laughs> oh, how can you remember everything? So far, it's pink. Oh, it's kind of weird looking to get out of the package that way. <laughs> okay, so oh, it's I open mine. just a figure. No cards or anything. Oh, look, I got Garth. That's one of the <gasps> ones I wanted. Look at his little teeth. Oh, breaking them open is the best. I don't know if this... If you guys Travis, can see it before I can. If Travis gets this a lot or if these are ever compared to it, but they have a very Gary Baseman feel to the look of the mm. art. Um, I apologize. No offense to anyone intended. Mono. That's actually really It rare. is a mono, right? Zoltar. Zoltar. Wasn't he one of those on here? Oh, he's a mono version of Zoltar. Awesome. That's cool. Nice. I, it's a nice, simple... It smells like house paint. Painting the inside of a house. Mine doesn't. Yeah, yours kind of does. doesn't smell like anything. Hmm. Nice, simple shape. Real easy. Nice, easy sculpt. It's exactly what it says. It's a drip. Drip. Does it sit? It sits! It sits. Does it Yay! weeble and wobble and don't fall down? <laughs> um, simple. I like it. Uh, it's got the gradient. Coming... Did you? Mine no, doesn't have a gradient. Mine's just pink. Uh, the paint, mine has a few, a couple little scuffs on it. <coughs> Maybe it could have used some sort of a clear coating. How about yours? Oh, seems I have all a couple right. little. Oh, yeah. Weird. Not terrible. There's only, there's one little mark next to the cheek, but that's probably not on all of them. It's probably an aberration. Oh, mine's fine. Cool. It's very loose style, so it's yeah, cool. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks very, like, hand-drawn. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, there it is. It's a drip. What do you want to do? What do you want to say? It's a drip. It's a drip with face. I like uh, it. Done. Reviews. Fantasy. Oh, reviews. 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 First up for review, we have received our Golden Ticket Mectorian. If you might remember, on a previous episode, we pulled a Golden Ticket from Dr. A's Mectorians from MindStyle. Hold it up. So this series is series one. Hey, wait, there's something in here. What? I don't know, is there something in the bottom of yours? No. Nope. <gasps> what is that? Jolly Good Show Lucky Draw winner. <laughs> Did you just get a golden ticket? Uh, it's not golden, but I just got a ticket. Congratulations, mate. You are one of the lucky finders of the most sought-after rare chase figures from the good Dr. A. Please please scan this ticket and email MindStyle for instructions to claim your prize. You will need to present this ticket, so hold on to it in a safe place. Authentic and original premium limited editions MindStyle. Well, now oh, we wow. know. Crap. Now we know. And here is the figure we were sent. What was the, what's the name of this guy? The gramophone that guy? That guy is... 
DJ Cramo. Um, it's got the patina look. Cramo. Kind of just on the outside, like didn't really, like it's not opened up and done inside as well, which is kind of so cool because then it keeps the detail on the record. But uh, if you have them closed like this, he's got the patina look. Um, not really much to say. We've already reviewed the figures. They're really cool. So uh, what do you think? Does patina look cool? Um, I was expecting it not to, and it actually kind of does. It looks like it would fit in with um, like under the sea toys, like Captain Nemo kind of stuff. Like it belongs on an old submarine at the bottom of the ocean. Like remember the It Captain, was on the Titanic. Remember the Captain Nemo set that Mezco put out years ago? Titanic is Karen's favorite movie. That would be... Perfect. Perfect for that. Yes, but it's very um, dark, coppery with like a teal. Rusty. No, the word for weathered. it. Weathered. Patina. Patina. It's good. There it is. So, cool. We got it. It worked. We had it through, you know, turned in the ticket. You send, we sent the ticket in. Mailed they in the ticket. This? They sent it back. And actually, I was worried because I was like, oh, now I don't get to keep the ticket, you know, because I won. And I was like, that sucks. You know, I wanted to be able to have the ticket. the ticket. And uh, they actually, they punched it and they sent the ticket back with it. So that was kind of cool. cool. Like, I actually got to keep the ticket after all. That's pretty cool. So that was neat, yeah. Up next, Topo de Madeira. Topo. Topo. Topo is this little guy. Topo is this little guy. That's the little guy's box. So um, this is from DGPH and Adventure. A uh, five-inch tall mole. Also available are regular Topo, Mega Mole, and Blank Mole. They are $28 over at dgph.com.ar. Well, you did say five inches, so you know what that means. You better Time get out measure? the tape measure. Would you care to hold my Topo? Thank you. Hey, wait. Here's the sound if, it, if I don't hold the button. Nice. <laughs> It's more fun that way. Where are we at here? We are at five inches. Perfect. On the money. So this guy's awesome, I think. He's got On a log topo. in his backpack. And a little painted backpack. <laughs> I've got a log in my backpack. <laughs> oh! Um, his little tail, what would be the tail on the regular mole, is like a little happy-faced happy face. fun guy. But the log's awesome. He's got two little buck teeth. I don't know. This is just cool. I love this. He's got, Of course I like him. He's got a little mustache. It's actually got the musketeer going on, a little mustache with a goatee, a little pointy goatee. He's my favorite out of the four. Yes. I've seen the Mega Mole was kind of cool because he's like a robot y mm -hmm. rocket guy. Um, he's cool because he's got this fun design on him. He's got the, the hair and the little chest hair sticking out of his shirt, which a is funny. The chest hair, yeah. And uh, the paint's real clean. It's a nice design. It's just generally, oh, there's a little scuff. Strange paint anomaly on the back behind his ear but i guarantee you it's probably only on this one yeah that's probably like not. it looks like it was like a touch-up or something in the factory so it's probably just but on like this his one. eyebrows are very clean and his mustache yeah so that looks good but the regular topo i'm not very fond of it's really plain to me and then you look at the art which is obviously digital yeah and it's super cute and like bouncy and he's, round yeah and he's fun. real cute and, <laughs> and look at him here oh man that should have been the sculpt <laughs> On the side? The side of the box it's should great. have been the sculpt. I mean, that's so fun. It's dynamic and cute and Even out the of one on the back, fun. coming out of the little box, he's all like, he's real dynamic and just really cool. And then this is kind of just like, stiff, I'm a stiff, there. stiff robot mole. Well, I think what happened is, I don't know that this is what happened. I, this is a total guess on my part. Um, it could have been modeled digitally. And what people will do is, you know, design half of it and then just mirror it. So you yeah. end up with a very static figure. I don't know if that's what happened here, but it's a possibility. It's I would a strong have, possibility. If it were me and it were my creature, I would have went with that cool, happy sitting one. It's I know, way more he's so fun. great, right? But I think this design looks better, like not the plain one. My here's my problem something with it. On it. Um, that guy, I think he's worth it. It's twenty eight dollars for these guys. $28. That guy is awesome. He's got a really cool design. The blank one though. He's so plain and static. $20. Is he worth twenty eight dollars? He's worth ten dollars. Blanks should be ten dollars and under. But what about the the regular brown one? Should he be ten bucks? No, too? there's not that many paint applications. Yeah, it's, it's not. The price wise, it's not. But I would like pay twenty eight for this guy. Is great. There's I like a lot of it. paint on that. That's, okay. That's why we have it because we like it. That's my opinion. He's worth it. Um, here's the uh, reaction test. Check your reaction when you get your topo mole. Okay. What's my reaction? Um, I'd say that's uh, ecstasis. 
Is that a word? No. That's what it says. <laughs> that is uh, ex ex ecstasis. Ecstasis? <laughs> you definitely had the ecstasis face. Oh man, I should have gone with. Huh? No, it's funny. I had my tooth sticking out. Oh yeah, is that what that was? Okay, I, I let's move on. My teeth. <laughs> Up next, uh, Terminator toys. That be these. That be those indeed. Uh, we have not seen the Terminator movie yet, but I have seen other Terminator movies, so I can pretty much understand what's going on with these are you toys. Sure? These are by <laughs> Playmates. Yes. And the we only bought the two um, the robot T7, ones. The T seven hundred and T R I P. Resistance infiltrator prototype. Exactly. Uh, basically, we bought these two because all of the ones with human elements suck really hard really really They're hard crappy mass market toys there's been crappy toys that have been that have looked good those do not look good the sculpting looks awful so let's get these you know what's funny i think when you look at these two they're exactly the same just different color. are they yeah oh the guns so we took all the uh twist ties off these ahead of time but for a seven dollar figure they had an excess of twist ties it's raining twist ties Twist ties all over the place. Too many. Oh, look so at that. It comes with a card. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice. Let's see that. So, now, wait. Are these the same? I'm sure they are. But... Yeah. Exactly yeah. the same figure. But one is black. One is silver. Includes Topps movie card. Wow. I'll tell you what, though. The articulation is pretty good on this for this little tiny... Guns. Guns have nice detail. Mine Blame comes paint. with a, uh, a bent bar, so you can recreate your bending the bar scene. <laughs> or a cool gun. How do you know? That could be a very important scene in the movie. It probably is. These actually have, basically, they're like ball joint Up shoulders. Down. They have a hinged wrist, but they also move at the top of the wrist, so you can do this with it. Hinged wrist or hinged elbow? Or hinged elbow, I mean. Yeah. And then, but you can also do this. Elbow, shoulder. Yeah. Hey, guys. What's is on? the head articulated at all? I don't no. think so. No. Waist, no. So, just the... They're not even the knee. Yeah, my, the knees are. Oh, they are? Yeah. They're just a little stiff. Oh, yeah, they are. So you can make him sit? Hey, bend. It's going to be my turn to break this toy in a minute. So you can make him sit and have a little tea party. You can have a hard day at work and just be drinking coffee. <laughs> awesome. So um, the detail is pretty cool on these. I mean, I mean, it's a three and three quarter inch action figure, so that's the best part of it. And the robots, not bad, not bad. You can make him look like he's covering his own balls and have a face of shame, which kind of looks like he's doing. And the silver one has a little bit of a black wash over him, so you know that's a nice, nice touch. I would which, have liked. Which way do you like him better, black or black or silver? Silver. Yeah. You can see the detail better. Yeah. Absolutely. Probably because of that black wash. But um, I would have liked more articulation. I think $4 would have been a better price point for a little figure like this. For $7, another point or two. A little waist turn or something like that. A little expensive. What's this card all about? I mean, $7 that you can get... Well, not, can you still get a McFarlane for $7? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. That was just back in the day? Yeah, no. Uh, these are prototype card, not prototype. What do they call them when they come out before? Promo, Promo cards for the top series of Terminator <laughs> cards. This is P card P2. I can't get my card out of the plastic. There we go. Card uh, P4. Nice. So if I you want the promo cards from Tops, you have to buy the action figures. I was really into non-sports trading cards when I was a kid, and I remember one Easter, in my Easter basket, I got the whole ca a whole case of Terminator 2 cards and I just sat there all day ripping packs open. That was awesome. That card awesome. just brought a flood back. Memories. Alright, what's next? Ooh, kind of stinky. Stinky Terminator toys. Up next? Mm -hmm. Payday! And again without the clap? We've been... S Payday! <laughs> We've been sitting on this one for quite some time, but... Oh, that's why the box is a little... You've been sitting on yeah, it. Yeah, I've been sitting on it. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is by Nate Van Dyke. It's a five and a half inch vinyl figure limited to 500 pieces. It is also available in, we have the mono edition. It's also available in a color edition, both for $55. I know those are both in stock over at 3dretro.com. There's also a glow edition for 75 and an orange up edition for 60. I believe. believe that was on upper playground. And we got this one at 3D Retro. 3D Retro. So let's see, first the box has got the, it's kind of cool because it's got that Looks like the dollar bill kind of art on it. The top's got the cool monkey with the walrus mask. This is one of the walrus figures, I believe, from Upper Playground. And the side has the walrus yeah. sort of money motif. Yes, it is from Upper Playground. So first of all, it comes with a comic. Thank you. Check that out. We're in the half monkey mask, or the half the walrus mask. It's a little black and white comic. Ooh, what's going on down there? Uh, this is there's a special thanks at the bottom actually. It, there's an inside oh, that liner that you can take out of the box, and it's got a little bit of the comic going on inside. Hmm. And at the bottom of the box, what you see when you take it out is a special thanks to Matt Ravelli and the crew at Upper Playground for the continued support, Denise Wong and Colin Miller for working with me through this project and making sure it came out right. Did I say that wrong? No. Oh, okay. And Eli Livingston for sculpting the toy and bringing this little badass to life. What are you doing over there? Eli is a, <laughs> uh, a sculptor that works in the toy industry on uh, action figures a lot. So Good there to know. Go. Good to know. So let's check this guy out. We also are told that he's five and a half inches. So So you know what that means. First of all, I love monkey sculpts. You have to know that about me ahead of time I going in. Monkeys. So I'm probably going to be a little biased and like it anyway. But uh, Do you like all monkey sculpts? I like a lot of monkey sculpts. It's true. Um, he's pretty solid. I mean... He is roto, but it's a nice, thick, solid Thank piece. You. Like, feel those legs. Ooh, that's heavy. Don't. I didn't. I didn't like it. I'm just kidding. Toy. That's pretty cool. Does the? Uh, I didn't expect it to be so heavy. Does what? There's one. The mask on the picture is like a broken walrus. Walrus face, and the mask he comes with is not. It is a full walrus. It is a full walrus. Now, do, do you could break it yourself? Do you think one of the colored ones, like we got the mono? Do you think the other ones come with it? Um, I, so there's I a monkey it. dressed up like a walrus, robbing banks. Which is kind of funny, in and of itself. I like this mono edition a lot. I like the the shades of gray and the shading on the gray. This is not roto as well. The chest is roto, and the arms are roto, and the head is roto. But. But the legs, and that's why it's oh, so heavy. Look at that. Is solid vinyl, solid PVC. But they made the seam go down the seam in the pants. Yeah, Smart. so it's hidden nice, hidden really well. Really well. The sculpt is really cool. It really matches the art really well, especially the face. Wow, I mean, you never say that. I know. But look at that. Yeah, it really does capture. The face has a lot of expression in it. The only thing is he's really hunched over, and that kind of bugs me. But he's a monkey, he's so a I monkey. guess that's okay. Here, you want to hold him? Sure. I read this comic when we first got the figure, but it's been so long I forget now what's going on. So he has two, three, three points of articulation, head and both of his arms move up and down. Um, the gun and the money bag do not come out of his hands, but that's okay. They're not supposed to. True. Oh yeah, obviously the money bag has a seam on it too. Shall we measure? I don't have my assistant, so I'm just going to go ahead and... He's actually not robbing the bank. He is five and a half inches, indeed. I like it when it's right. Um, the monkey just happened to be depositing a check at the bank uh -huh. when three men in animal masks bust in oh, to rob this the place. Is one of the masks. So uh, the monkey kind of puts the kibosh on there oh, on that guy what's going the on. Yeah, you got to get this, and you got to get this comic get this thing just to read See this comic and on. figure out this monkey is not robbing a bank he's a good monkey he's not what a bad is monkey. the monkey doing get the comic and check it out he stabbed that guy in the nuts with a pen <gasps> check it out oh it's got the chain you want to see it still. tough luck get the comic i don't even have i'm gonna hurts. show you um i like the detail in the ears they didn't just leave it soft inside they put there's three little ridges yeah gives the ears some depth and some texture Something for the paint to actually adhere to. The I like the the mono one better than the other ones. Just the all the colors work a lot better I'm together. Sure we have it. Um, 
But uh, yeah, they're all. I mean, they're all cool. And if you can't find the mono, get one of the other ones. It's actually a really cool piece. Fifty-five dollars. It's, it's kind of cool to collect all of the upper playground walrus figures. That's true, or at least a representative from that line. Right. Fifty-five dollars. Yeah, it's worth it. I would definitely say so. After you feel the weight of it in your hand, and the qual—I mean, it's a really good quality piece. So, if you're inclined at all, go for it. Twenty-eight fifty-five. I'd buy that before I bought that. <laughs> yeah, and we did buy that before that. Well, there you go. Uh, we have an on location for you. Let's do it. Junko Mizuno. Toy Break correspondents Alex Herter and Kim Sisson had a chance to visit artist Junko Mizuno. Let's check it out. She's also done adaptations of The Little Mermaid, Hansel and Gretel, among others. She's also created a number of toys with Kid Robot and other companies. Your your art is very, it has like a dream-like feel to it. Uh, are these are these things from your dreams, or, or what, what do you dream about? It's not from a dream. Okay. It's more like daydreams. It's difficult to... I've been drawing since I was two or three and I've, I've always wanted to be in comic comics but I didn't play outside so much I'm just obsessed with drawing how, how did you come to working with the different toy comics? I just got offers They came to you and said we like you stuff? Yeah, I used to be a toy collector Does it translate well onto the toys that have come out? Do you like how they've come out? When I first started working with toy companies, I was worried that maybe they can't, they don't understand what I really want to do. But it was much easier and came out much better than I expected. Out of the toys that you've had out so far, which which one's your favorite? I can't. <laughs> I can't you said you don't collect toys anymore, but there's Toy Break has a, a standard question that we ask. When you did collect toys, did you keep it in the box or did you take it out and play with it? Thank you so much to Alex and Kim and of course to Junko for taking a toy break with us. That was super awesome and uh, we can't wait for more events. Very cool. If there's an event coming to your town, area, city, something you're attending, something you're in, uh, film it. 
send it in. Be a correspondent. Be, be a toy break correspondent with us. We even can't if, go to everything. Even so. if there's not an event, if you have a toy store that you're like, hey, this is really cool. I wish they would show it on the show. Yeah. You got go a toy in. store in your area you want to share Film with it. everybody else? Talk to the owners. Talk to the people that are buying stuff. Make people buy stuff there. Uh, speaking of events. Events. Happenings. Do it. Stuff to do. Choking Hazard. Running concurrently with Print Bomb Show Me Your Money. Featuring printmakers, graffiti artists, and custom vinyl toys. Check out over 80 custom one-inch mini Gwyns at Instinct Gallery in Des Moines, Iowa from June 13th. Instinctgallery.com. <laughs> We're going to find the closing on that one of these days. So don't forget to contact us at Toy Break. You can visit toybreak.com. There's another event coming up next month. There is. You know what? We should mention that. <laughs> Toy, toy fair? No. <laughs> There's another event coming up next month. San Diego Comic Con? San Diego Comic Con. So, whatever. We'll start mentioning that soon. Well, the problem with that is it's sold out. True. So hopefully you're coming and hopefully you'll come see either, us at Either you already know about it and you're going or we just told you and you can't go anyway. So who cares? <laughs> but we're planning some interesting coverage and some fun Twitter activities for the con. So if you're not following me on Twitter and you're on Twitter... You should do that before Comic-Con. And we'll have some fun stuff going on. We'll talk about that more next week. We will. All right. So again, you can save money with the coupon code TOYBREAK, all one word, at TenaciousToys.com, FunkRush.com, and OctoberToys.com, all for 20% off at those fine, fine retailers. Uh, you can also visit our website at ToyBreak.com for show notes from this show, past shows, join the contest in the forum, which is drawing the smash from Tenacious Toys. And you can download the show, download the MP3. You could also check out our affiliates. You could make a donation. That's always appreciated, just like Brian did. Thank you, Brian. Uh, you can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD with your toy-related questions and queries. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. You can also check out our toy briefs on YouTube at youtube.com slash toybreak. And now we have a special, a special little thing. A special thing. A special thing. This is a, a sort of a guest toy break. It is. We have something very fun from one of our favorite companies. Uh, Onel makes the Glio system figures, which we're such big fans of. Mm -hmm. And uh, a man by the name of Mason, a.k.a. Bacon Ace on YouTube, did a very cool video called Onel vs. Chokokin. And we would like to share that with you. So now, without here's, further ado... Here's your toy break. So what we've got here is uh, an age-old debate about the strength and durability of Onel Designs toys. What we have here is a yellow Exilus that I'm going to smash against the ground and I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen to and then we'll bring out the competitor. So here is the Exilus. Now, as we can see, one of the legs did pop off and that's okay because these are meant to be modular. There's actually no broken part and much like old Microman toys and Micronauts, it pops right back on. And it's absolutely fine. No scratches, no worse for the wear. This is the Chogo Kid. It's a nice and pretty toy, but it's not as durable as the O'Neill, or as we think it might be. The sword survived. Buy O'Neill toys. It's good stuff.